Meanwhile, the presidential election petition tribunal has ordered Peter Obi and the Labour Party to present their joint petition against Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu's victory at the 2023 election within three weeks. The chairman of the tribunal, Justice Harun Simon Samani, gave the order on Tuesday while presenting the pre-hearing session report of the tribunal. The tribunal also ordered the president-elect Tinubu to defend his victory along with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, within five days. Obi be through his counsel, Professor Awa Kalu SAN, had requested a period of seven weeks to establish their allegations against Tinubu's victory. Counsel to the Labour Party, Levi Uzoku, blamed INEC for the various delays in the tribunal. Cannot pay. We have letters. I forgot to bring it to you, gentlemen of the press, today. Five letters we wrote them indicating that we are ready to pay to collect the documents. When I'm coming here some other time, I will bring the letters duly received and endorsed by INEC. Why are they telling lies to say that uh, we, we couldn't pay? This is very, very, very unfortunate. What of the documents that we have collected? Didn't we pay for them? <coughs> of course we paid for them. And they gave us those ones, but refused to give us orders. I give you River State, for example. Now, River State, I understand, has 27, uh, 23, 23 local, local governments. governments. <clears throat> Election took place in 25th of uh, February. Now, a few days ago, when they gave us 17, oh, sorry, 15, 15 results, 15, 15. they are yet to complete the results, close to three months since after the election. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.